Only invest money you can afford to lose entirely in speculations outside your areas of mastery. Only a little bit. I'll give you a great example on this one. Crypto. Uh, last year, I, I put a lot of money in crypto over the last two years. And uh, it's money that I can afford to lose. And it's a pretty, damn, pretty good damn thing because it's down 75%, right? I mean, it's down a lot. And um, I think it'll come back. I truly believe in Bitcoin. I think it is the new gold. I don't think it's going anywhere. It is getting manipulated right now. I mean, you saw, I don't know if you saw this, but Tesla today, they just dumped 75% of their Bitcoin today. Now, it was almost a billion dollars. It was $750 million worth of crypto, Bitcoin, that Tesla bought. And then they just dumped it. And my suspicion is they dumped it because right now there is no uh, tax law on crypto. And so the way our current tax code is written is if you sell your crypto at a loss, you get to write off that loss on your taxes this year. So I'm getting ready to cash out on all of my crypto at a 75%, 80% loss. Some of my stuff is down 90%. That's a lot. And I'm just going to make up a number. Let's say it's $100,000. And I put in a hundred grand and now it's worth $10,000. I'm going to lose $90,000 by selling it, which you might think is crazy. But here's the cool thing with crypto. This is the only thing you can do this with, by the way. I can immediately buy it back that day. So I can sell it. So I can take my $100,000 of crypto, sell it today for 10 grand. And I'm just making up numbers, guys, just for simple math. If I take my 100 grand of crypto, I sell it. I lost $90,000. I put that in my books that I lost 90. And I immediately take that 10 grand I got back and I immediately buy back into crypto. And now I get to claim on my tax this year that I lost $90,000 in crypto. Yeah, I got to pay a little bit in gas fees to transfer it. But damn, that's a 90% deduction or $90,000 deduction that um, I wouldn't otherwise get. You can't do that with stocks. You can't do that with real estate. You can only do that with crypto right now. So it's pretty cool. So... When you invest and speculate, if it's not in your area of master, uh, mastery, you need to make sure that that is money that you can lose. And you only invest that in areas of people that are also masters at it. So like with my apartment complex, my apartment complexes, um, that's where the majority of my money that I invest goes to. It's probably 90% of the money that I have goes into apartments. And the rest, the 10%, the speculation will go into crypto and other businesses and stuff that I could lose and still be okay. Um, I would never take my regular savings and investments and put it in crypto because I'm not the expert. Now, if you're expert in it, then, you know, knock yourself out. I know people that are, but I'm not. Apartments, I am. So that was principle number 23.